Hi friends, it's Lisa Hetrick, illustrator for Gina K Designs, and I'm so grateful you could join me today. I have a brand new stamp set to share. Let's dive in and take a peek. Okay, here is the brand new stamp set. It's called Spring in Bloom. I'm really excited about this. This one's got some unique elements in it that I don't have in my other stamp sets but are really great builder pieces to use with anything in your collection. I've got this wonky postage-like background piece, and there's a coordinating die for it. And it's a little bit longer than a regular postage stamp-like thing. So it's it's got a rectangle uh, feel for it, so it fits really nicely on an A2 size card and I'm going to share that with you. I've got this little element and this little wavy postage like element and these three stars as well. Two really fun sentiments that are very inspiring and then I have these two big honkin blooms. This is also the stamen for this bloom and we have a two-step stamping here. So I'm going to walk you through and show you all of this. And these two blooms are super fun and kind of integral to being kind of like a chameleon flower where no matter what color you decide to um, paint this or color it, it's going to give you a different look. So let's go ahead and dive in and take another peek here at all of the elements. So the two sentiments are, a kind word is like a spring day. Let your dreams blossom. We've got the big honkin bloom here, and it's a big one. And I've got this bloom with the solid to give you the two-step stamping. We've got some leafery elements, the stamen. And then here are all of those pieces to build with to create that kind of interesting postage-like background. Okay, there's also the coordinating die that's available with this set. So, okay, let's dive in and take a look at the inspiration. Here is a really fun card project where I used the open bloom, the smaller bloom, and it kind of looks like a crocus. Now, it's inspired, the two blooms are inspired by a crocus flower. However, you're gonna see that no matter what color I change them up to be, you're gonna get a different look. So it's kind of fun. This is a, a, some emboss resist to create this really dreamy looking like a flower element. Okay, here's a fun card mashup. I mashed this stamp set up, Spring and Bloom, with wildflowers and weeds. You recognize that wheel background and the lavender and some of the other elements from wildflowers and weeds. And just added in the violas and created that crocus kind of look like it was popping up out of the ground in front of this whole scene to create this really fun mashup. Love it. Okay, now we've got some really fun uses of the postage stamp elements here. I've got the Let Your Dreams Blossom, I've got that big honking crocus-like flower that's just opening up. I've used the die here for the postage stamp and the postage stamp for the background just to kind of create some really interesting look without all the height in the card. Love that. Okay. Yes. Loving this. Okay. This is, I painted this, I watercolored this in kind of a very traditional um, crocus like flower. Added the elements for the postage stamp to just kind of give it a little bit of a background, and it's super fun. Now, here's an example of a card that I'm just kind of showing you how, if you change the color up on the card, you get a different look for that flower. This looks more like a parrot tulip flower, and I've got a couple other examples. And I just used the leafery here as blades of grass just to kind of come up and um, just be really super cute, make it look like this parrot flower was popping right out of the grass. Added the kind word is like a spring day, which fits right in that circle element. 
little bit of a postage to add just a little bit of extra texture. And the other thing I want to note about the, um, the stars is that I've already built in texture in the stamp. So it will stamp a little bit distressed. Okay, here's another example of using that wonky postage-like backgrounder. But this time I just cut it out with some white cardstock, used the die, cut it out, and then I did a little bit of blending of wild dandelion. Put that little parrot tulip design right on the cover here, and then just added those elements and then popped it open, let your dreams blossom right on the inside instead of putting the sentiment on the outside. Okay, I love this card. This one might be my favorite. I really, or the next one might be my favorite. I'm not really sure. I love them all. And I know I say that every single time. So here are the crocus flowers kind of used in a traditional way. Um, I did the two-step stamping and I kind of created this little half wreath right here, just kind of going up and around the car just to give it some visual interest. And then added that a kind word is like a spring day. Super fun card. All of these cards that I'm sharing are the stars of the show, where the stamps are the star of the show. And you know, I just love to be able to show different combinations of using the stamps um, for these sets. Love it. Okay, so here is an example. This one is a little bit more artsy. I guess you could say artsy. So I took that big honkin' flower and painted it like a parrot tulip flower. I added a little bit of extra painting into it, elongated that stem just to give it a different look, showing you that you can use your stamps. So let's take a quick look at the stamp. So here's the stamp and you can see that the stem is like a three quarter. I elongated it here so that you could create the longer stem and just kind of showing you how you can use your stamps to start to create a floral composition that you can stamp down and um, color in. Kind of cool. And I did that with some with all the watercolor. So super fun. Okay, let's take a quick look at the free card idea sheet. I have another free card idea sheet for you for the spring and bloom card ideas. There are eight ideas here different kinds of things that you can do with the stamp set. And this is available to you as a free download. You can grab this at my website at indigojadeart.com slash craft your joy, or just go to indigo, indigojadeart.com and click on the button freebies. And all of the freebies for every single stamp set that I've created in my Gina K collection are there. You can also grab this in the in the um, Facebook group and it's also available there as a free download PDF. I hope you enjoyed today's stamp set reveal and inspiration for spring and bloom. You can grab this stamp set at ginakdesigns.com right now in the what's new section or you can head over there and just type in Lisa Hetrick in the search bar and you will find all of my stamp sets in my collection. Thanks so much for joining me. Please consider sharing the joy by liking this video and subscribing to this channel. I have more card and watercolor tutorials for you right here. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.